what's going on everyone welcome to another fate related youtube video now this one is a very very different kind of format it's not a reaction video i just wanted to go ahead and talk about fate mostly unlimited blade works because we just finished that and i thought it was a perfect chance a perfect moment to make this video because there's a lot of questions right and one of the biggest questions that i get because i also stream all these reactions as well as post it on patreon and whatnot the biggest question i get is regarding where should i start fate from so i want to share my perspective on that so, you know, newcomers, new people that want to watch Sandman or get into the Nasuverse, get into the Fate loophole, understand what they're getting themselves into and also where they can start. Not only that, but I also just wanted to casually talk about my experience and what I think is going to be happening on this channel moving forward, whether there's going to be more Fate, whether I'm going to be reacting to other anime or not, more Fate such as the movies, more Nasuverse stuff that's not even directly related to Fate. If that's going to happen, everything's going to be answered in this video. This is not not going to be scripted at all just like any other of my videos i don't script anything this one's more of like a casual talk so i hope you enjoy this and let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this now we're gonna start with what i think of fate so far simple answer i absolutely love it i started with ubw i got a lot of recommendations people told me to start you know with zero at the 2006 stuff fate stay night i chose to go with ubw and let me tell you that was the best decision i have ever made because i actually started fate zero back in i can't even remember maybe it was like 2020 it was on netflix i think went on fate zero and i was like let me give it a shot i've, I've heard a lot of things about it clicked on the first episode i'm not even kidding about 10 ish minutes in i literally closed it so fast it was a 45 minute episode 10 minutes in i couldn't stand it it was like tokiyomi i believe kide and one other man uh, i think it was like the father the priest or whatever going in circles talking and talking and talking about the holy grail war what they're gonna do the planning you know the allegiance they're gonna make doing stuff behind the backs of other people i was like bro what is going on what even is a servant what's the master what is all this thing going on bad bad choice for me to start with fate zero personally it wasn't for me and it was the reason i dropped fate Wait, immediately 10 minutes in 10 minutes into the nasu worst i dropped it for like years until last year i believe it was in december decided to give it another shot thanks to my you know chat i can't remember what exactly went down that got me into fate this was mainly like my first ever anime content that i've ever done on youtube it started with fate so it's always gonna have a special place in my heart aside from that i started with ubw and i loved it so freaking much from the first episode you could go back and even look at the epilogue that i did episode number zero i was blown away because i believe eight unlimited blade works or stay night unlimited blade works whatever you want to call it it has the perfect mix of action dialogue music the pacing as well that's like the most important part whenever you want to try to get someone into fate you want to make sure you're recommending something that's not too crazy or deep so that it's not so intimidating right because when i got into fate zero it was a whole lot of talking and i just didn't know what was going on and there wasn't any flashy stuff going on either but ubw you know right from the get-go it's very simple it's a lot easier to process and visually it's so so nice it's so much better to look at it's by ufotable of course the animations are on point not only that but we got archer one of the coolest servants of all time emi ashido that story peak not gonna say too much about it if you're interested in watching that you know i totally recommend it overall i think fate ubw is the ultimate way in my opinion to get someone new especially in this generation where our, our, our spans are so messed up we got that tiktok span of attention right you want to be able to show someone something flashy cool and that way they can just get into it. And then as they get into fate, they can get into other stuff like zero, like I'm watching zero. And then I plan on watching Apocrypha and whatnot. That's the main point, right? Because I've also seen a lot of stuff in my comments where it really feels like the biggest problem with fate is literally the community. Uh, people gatekeep this anime like no other. It's like whether you start with this or it's over. And this is not the entire community, of course. It's you bad apples like one in a hundreds right it's, it's just with that one minority but the problem is with these kind of voices they actually stand out a lot more than everything else and it kind of leaves a negative impression because trust me my IRL friends that i've met as well as people that i know over the internet that that have wanted to get into fate their biggest concern is oh it's just so much to go through i hear different opinions people tell me to do this and that and this and that look i'm not telling you what to do i'm just gonna give you advice based on the kind of person i am if you like you know flashy cool stuff my favorite anime right now of this generation is Jujutsu Kaisen so that says enough if you're that kind of person who likes that shonen you know the, the flashiness and stuff that doesn't make you want to think too much I mean to an extent yes 
but it's a lot more fast paced and the animations are the biggest point i would say ubw is a great start because the most important thing that you could take away from this video as well if you're watching as someone who's never seen fate or even as someone who's experienced in fate has seen everything biggest thing that i want to say is that your goal should be to get someone to start fate it doesn't matter where they start from obviously it kind of matters in the sense that you don't want to start from heaven's field right because then it would just logically not make any sense at all you should start at a decent point but what matters is you start that's the biggest thing you want to get them into it because if they don't if they keep getting gate kept they'll never be able to experience the beauty of fate which i'm experiencing right now which is why i'm making this video i've never made a video like this on my channel ever about any anime this is the first time ever i don't even know if this video is gonna do well if anyone's gonna watch it i'll just throw it out there but the main goal is to open the door of fate through something that's a lot more easier to process you know when somebody asks you i've never seen anime what anime should i watch are you gonna recommend them one piece even though you know that's one of the greatest anime of all time my favorite is naruto Am I gonna tell them to start with Naruto? Of course not. I'm gonna give them something a bit more chill, like Demon Slayer, you know? That's the kind of fate UBW is. It's like Demon Slayer. You get the analogy. It's, it's a lot easier to process, cool animations and everything, very, very nice dialogues. Just a lot easier to understand and get to know what fate is really about. So now that step one is done, you can go ahead and watch Fate Zero. You can go ahead and watch the Heavens Feel movies. You can go ahead and watch everything else. Point is, get into fate. It is so worth it. You will not regret it. It is one of the greatest and Anime of all time one of the greatest like multiverse a, a universe a nasu verse is what they call it of just anime there's so many spin-offs and amazing amazing things you have to experience i truly feel bad for anyone who's never seen at least the heavens feel movies which you cannot watch until you've seen ubw at least i highly recommend it my order ubw heavens feel then fate zero and after that do whatever you want that's the best thing about fate once you've completed those three you can do whatever you want you could even watch fate strange fake right now without even knowing anything but again i kind of recommend you watch ubw because that's going to lay out the foundation you're going to know what is a holy grail war what are these people fighting for what is a servant what is a master what is a command seal what does it take to become a champion of justice <laughs> dude i'm geeking out but you get the point am i going to continue watching fate absolutely yes i put this post out on my patreon a couple days ago and this basically has a list of everything i'm going to be going through in the coming weeks days months whatever you want to call it i'm going to try to go as fast as possible it is missing apocrypha which i would like to announce right now is going to be the next anime after fate zero currently on season two of fate zero so that's gonna come soon don't know when it's gonna come out on youtube but if you want to check out the patreon feel free so this is the list you know we got the studio dean movie i've got it done oath under the snow heard it's a really really good movie all of the garden of sinners oh my god this is something i'm super excited about because i did see that chick in heaven's field 3 you saw it towards the end well you guys didn't see it on youtube but if you know you know that one girl who is like a puppet master i'm really curious about her and i heard garden of sinners is a perfect start for her so i'm gonna watch all that fgo babylonia solomon ubw got the case files as well i love my detective stuff carnival phantasm some goofy things apart from that i've also started one punch man which is going to be starting this week in fact i think as of today or tomorrow depending on when this video goes out eight will always continue at least on my channel i want to be that one person who ends up going through every single fate it has such a special place in my heart not only that it is such an amazing show and I, I genuinely enjoy this and i found the opportunity to learn about so many things when it comes to history now i'm someone who wasn't so familiar with historical stuff i'm not the only one i met you know people that are from different places in the world it really depends because some places they don't really teach you this kind of history it was able to teach me a lot of things through that i was able to meet so many amazing people like you commenting i read every single comment by the way i may not be able to reply to each and every single one because there's like hundreds but if i leave a like on it if i leave a heart that means i've read it fully i appreciate you so thank you thank you thank you if you want to be a part of this journey come to my discord i love talking to every single one of you thank you once again if you have found me through fate i'm very very grateful for you and i promise you there's a lot more cool content coming that is fate related as well as other anime and you can always feel free to leave recommendations for anything whether it's fate or other anime you can support me on patreon where everything goes super super early i mean just to give you 
context, we just finished UBW, right? As of, I guess, yesterday, which was February 25th. And if you go to my Patreon over here, we have all of the Fate Unlimited Blade Works Season 1 and 2. Not only that, we got the Sunny Day OVA, which I also posted, but we have all of the Heaven's Feel movies. This was on the 12th of February, by the way, my birthday. All three of them. We also have Fate Stay and I UBW, the movie, Studio Dune, Studio Dune, Studio Dean. You don't want to miss that one out. We also have Fate Zero. I am currently on season number two. I actually just finished recording season two, episode number three, I believe, but something happened and my goodness, my brain is just like completely fried. I shouldn't even be making this video this time. Moving on, we have Fate Strange Fake, one of the best Fates I've ever seen. Fate Prototype, we got Juicy Kaisen, One Punch Man, Ninja Kamui, Solo Leveling, Hell Spread as One Piece. I mean, just a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe once again, Patreon for everything else. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.